so. Ooh, maybe some glasses. <laughs> like, oh, right. Maybe my glasses. And the night reflects 
shiny glass beads on the stripes that lead you in a new direction. They remind me of the stars. Stars that are the backdrop to the landscape. A shift in the landscape. One that comes and goes when we whiz through not paying attention. Only thinking about where we're going and how we're going to get there instead of being in the moment and taking it in. And my work is really about trying to take um, those moments in. <clears throat> so I'm a collage artist, printmaker, um, and you can kind of see my process here. And if you've had um, a chance to look um, at some of the collages downstairs, they're really sort of starting points for my work. Um, I kind of consider them sketches. Um, I collect um, images from the most random, you know, manuals and um, you know, National Geographic and a bunch of things like that. But I'm really drawn to images that show the landscape and also kind of these spaces that are familiar but just maybe a little bit strange. Um, and so, again, I start here um, with my sketches and then if um, they're lucky enough, they become print. Um, and, you know, one of the benefits of making prints is that you can make a lot of them. And I'm a printmaker, but I'm not someone that does a lot of additions. So, so you can see here, I did this for what um, printmakers do, this thing called a portfolio exchange, where you do a certain number of prints, and you mail them to kind of someone that curates this, and then you end up getting maybe 15 uh, prints from other artists around the country. Um, and so then you have kind of a nice collection of other practicing artists. That's always really cool. Um, and these are um, four color uh, screen prints. So I break down the images into basically CMYK, right? Um, so I'll have a, um, I use Photoshop and I'm able to break them into four different images um, that will eventually, hopefully, line up um, to become one um, full screen. And I'm, I've been really lucky enough to do. Um, residencies, and I'm still currently looking to um, do some more. Um, but one of the first ones I did was in Ireland, um, in Brathmore, on the Wexford, and actually that's where my family's from. Um, and it really, it was a two-week residency, and it allowed me to work on um, drawings and um, painting uh, of the landscape there, but also I focused on some of these other um, pieces that were interior sketches, right? Some of the sunsets and then um, watercolor paintings from that. And um, then I went to another one in Cahoots Printmaking Residency. So this just focuses on basically printmaking. Um, and I did some really large scale monotypes that I thought were going to be in the show and then they just didn't make the cut. So um, these are an example um, of some of the work that I did and where I really started um, to, um, you know, make these monotypes and then collaging on top of the existing work. Um, so, you know, artist residencies are um, to kind of give you space to play with your work. And as a printmaker, you do a lot of planning in your work, right? You come up with an image, if it has to be a screen print or if you're doing an etching, you know, um, typically printmakers are very kind of planned out. So this gave me really a lot of room to play with. I, I had a really large crush there, and I got to meet some wonderful uh, printmakers as well. There were two other printmakers there with me for the next two weeks. Um, and that's a great residency, so if you want to do a residency. Uh, they also do a writing residency there. Um, it's great. She's awesome. And then this one, um, this is an air air residency. So it was a residency on an airplane. <laughs> so, um, you apply for the residency, um, and um, let me see, I'm trying to remember this, right? So, I applied for the residency, and I was sent a bunch of materials uh, by the woman that, um, you know, heads air, air residency. And um, so, I'm trying to, she just gave me a bunch of different things, but what I ended up doing is, I ended up just basically collaging a piece of luggage, so I constructed like a little tiny bag. This is right there on the conveyor belt um, in Cleveland. 
Um, and so I did that for, you know, for many notice reasons. Um, and that, like, I think when you think about this idea of, like, really, um, you know, work going through the landscape and only thinking about getting to that destination rather than, like, being in the moment. Um, you know, I taught this at UC, which was pretty uh, great for my practice because you had to be in the moment. Um, it's weird to do a little art project on an airplane anyway. <laughs> <laughs> and you know everything had, that she sent me had to, you know, like I couldn't bring scissors. I, you know, there were just some things that, like, you know, I think there's a bag of glitter here and string, and I think I ended up just packing the, the residual stuff. So that can have it. But um, that was a really fun, and that was just a quick one. Um, and then um, I did the Black Rock um, Desert Residency with the Friends of Black Rock, and so I spent two weeks. Two weeks um, at Black Rock Desert. Um, just basically right there, I stayed in um, someone's house. And there wasn't a studio to work in. The studio was the landscape, right? So um, I went out and I collected a bunch of rocks and I ended up making pigments and watercolors from that. Um, I went out and on the playa and you know, drew and took photos of myself, some shadows. Um, and it took me a long time to get that fly out of my car. <laughs> like a year. I swear to God, I was like, I'm washing it. You're like, it's, it's still it's just dripping out. <laughs> so these are some of the prints. Actually, you're, you don't see these prints are actually in um, the barn. I bought them. But, um, so these were the prints from that residency. And I didn't do the prints at the residency, but um, this is where I really started taking photographs and using the photographs that I took. Um, driving to the Black Rock Desert, and then being there in Burlock as well. So they still have these phone booths um, outside of the laundry mat that they built. There's not a lot in that town. <laughs> There's Bruno's, which is an awesome bar, and maybe two hotels or something, and not much. So, um, so these are screen prints. Some of them are just black and white, and some of them um, are um, four colors booth is four color. Um, and so what I was doing here is I was printing them and then printing or then collaging the prints onto the larger sheet of paper. Um, so that kind of helped me sort of expand, um, you know, using my own photographs and then collaging onto the prints as well. And then this is the laundry mat there. <laughs> so I took a picture. Going or I guess that's leaving for a lot and then just kind of standing in the middle of the desert there. And if you haven't been up there, you should definitely you should definitely go. It's not that far. I, I was really surprised. I was like, oh. And that's where Burning Man is, but I'm sure everyone here knows that. So. <laughs> and I had no Burning Man traffic, so it was okay. <laughs> um, and then this piece is downstairs, so I just wanted to show you some of the work that you shouldn't have seen from that. And this work is like really new. This is, I actually don't actually have pictures of the work that's finished down there. Because um, I think this piece looks a little bit different. Um, but when I'm, when I'm pulling images together, I, I cut a lot of images out. So I have books that I, I go through. And um, I have this one particular book that someone from our MFA program, uh, Kelly and Mary Grace, gave me that I just, I, I mean, five years. I've held on to it, and I still go through it and find these images. And so, usually I'll go through a book two or three times and then get rid of it, otherwise, you know, I just accumulate too much. And I'll sit down and just cut out images for a few months, and then I have a library of images to kind of work from. And I might put them in my drawer and then take them out, you know, I don't know, like a few months later or something. But, um, so I started kind of fishing through some of the images, and. When I'm putting the work together, I like to continue lines. So you can see like that pizza hut, which is, that just brings back like the pizza hut in my town, which you never really make it here. But um, they all kind of look like that, right? And then, so the top of that roof line, you know, I try to kind of join it up or 
um, I think it's kind of about like the tension between the edges of, of those pieces of paper. And I move them around quite a bit. Um, and sometimes they make the cut, and sometimes they don't. I think this one's a little bit different. I think it's like this one. But those are like brand new, like brand new last year. Yeah. I always like to do very new pieces for a show. Like last night, very new pieces. <laughs> <laughs> I have uh, an insane amount of work. I, Molly came over, and um, you know we were kind of looking at the pieces beforehand, and I had so much work. <laughs> so I just kind of, you know, when I got in here, I guess it was last week, I brought in a lot of work. Was, my portfolio is very heavy with just paper. Um, and then it was great to kind of, you know, go around and see those, especially those collages up, because I've had those for quite some time, but I've never displayed them. Um, so it was really fun to see those up. And, and then kind of like these new ones. And, and um, yeah, these new ones. So again, the, the pieces that, the, you know, the pieces that I like, um, I was going through my, sorry, I'm just jumping forward here. I was going through my photos, you know, kind of uh, looking for things to, you know, to show. And I came across this image. I hope I did it. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know, all, I, just, I was like, what's this? And I, was like, I have a lot of, like, images of like, student work and then my work or whatever, you know. So if anyone recognizes me. <laughs> I think I did it. It has my kind of, you know, like. <laughs> but I just stopped in my tracks. And I, this isn't glued down. So this only exists like this. But I am so excited about this piece. <laughs> um, so I have to kind of revisit it. And I think that's one of the, you know, these become re really fast moments for me. Um, where I'm kind of figuring out. And then I kind of, like, I don't even have glue to glue this down. This looks like it's on. I don't know, a floor or something. I don't even know what it looks like. Um, and so then I just take a quick picture of it and move on. I have not seen these two images in my collection, so but I'm kind of curious. Anyway, kind of looking at this, right, you kind of have like the connection between like the, the armchair and then like this like ghostly sort of image. And um, so uh, my kid Eileen um, said, Oh, Mom, you're doing back rooms. Do you guys know what back rooms are? Okay, wait, I have to find my notes because I wrote it down. So it is like an internet thing. <laughs> um, and of course, I'm like, I don't know what that is. Let's see if I can find that note. I'm sorry, it might take me. So these, okay. So if you Google back rooms, an image will come up if, on Google. And it is, it's like an empty office building that you would go into. There's not much, um, like the floor, there's fluorescent lighting. You could almost smell the carpet. Um, and yeah, I, I think about those spaces and like these benign, kind of familiar spaces. So when I'm looking at images and I don't know, there's just like a, an uncomfortable situation happening here. That I'm drawn to. Um, so, this, stay tuned. I don't know, this image is like, <laughs> I can look at it. And then there's just some, sometimes you cut out something and you turn it over and you're like, that works. I don't know where this piece is either. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably, this one's probably something. Um, and sometimes they end up in pieces of artwork that I don't look at for a while. Um, and I'm like, oh, that was a waste of. So thinking about like cutting things out, but then turning turning it over and being actually more surprised. I guess that's kind of like printmaking, right? When you're at the printing press and printing something and you pull it up, you have like this excitement. Um, and sometimes you know what's going to be on that other the, on that paper, and sometimes you don't. And I guess that's just the way it's going. So. I think that's it. Um, and this image, I've just I've had. I haven't done anything with it. I don't think it's been done either. But. <laughs> yeah. So that's my work. That's what I'm kind of interested in. <laughs> Thank you guys for.
coming out. Um, and thanks so much for you know you guys giving me the opportunity to show my work after 20 years. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I had to say that. I had to say that. <laughs> Oh yeah, by the way, the work is really cheap though. <laughs> it is a, uh, it's going to be a, a flash um, sale down there. <laughs> so if you're interested in the piece, I have like one more question. Oh yeah, sorry. I'm, go ahead. <laughs> I like how you brought up that the time traveling because I actually had that one in my notes. <laughs> uh, you know, it's it's like that Gerlach, like looking back at some of those images and like, like these are traveling machines, if you ask me. <laughs> you know, it's it's such a. I mean, that Gerlach is such a, a unique place, and you go into this and you're like a, a red and a yellow, you know, black and brown are, are fairly work, but um, yeah, they're. that I'm really drawn to, and then just Oh, right. Yeah. Um, I don't know what the... Yeah, I... Um, I guess I kind of started with kind of a story, right? Um, but I think that's kind of how I just see my work and, and how I collect things. Like, it's, it's not about finishing the work, it's like how I get there. Um, and I'm surprised a lot of the times. And I, even with looking back, I haven't seen this work in a few, in a few years. Um, and so it's, it's great to kind of revisit like those experiences that I had there. So that's what I like about like this work where I'm taking photographs. Um, so hopefully my next residence because the collages, like when I was in graduate school, on the side I would collage all the time. But I never showed that work ever. Um, because I was in a printmaking program and that's what you did every day. Um, and I think like those collages I see is like they're done, right? They're, like they're, so okay, a few things. Sometimes I'll say three, three photos, three pictures, three images are going on this collage. That has to be with it, right? Um, and and then if they get painted, if they make the cut to get either painted or, or printed, I think it's just like I really have to like that it, like image, or I think oh other people might like this image, or it might be a theme. Um, I think that like the cowboy one downstairs, or no, maybe um, yeah. In some of these, there might just be a theme that the for instance, that first this image here um, was was it was printmakers from the West, and so I knew I had to have like a little bit of the imagery of, of the West in it, and I felt like this one kind of was just right for that uh, theme. But I typically, again, I'm not. Uh, I don't. I'm not like theme theme driven. That was one of the reasons this became a. 
No, and, and I know ones that I will, like the telephone one that's a little lopsided down there. Um, that one is going to be a pain. A, a, like, I think it's going to be a gouache painting. Like, I see that one as a pain. So, but, you know, if, whenever I get around to it. I love the negative space. I like I like I love that white space. I like to have a lot of white space around things and not sort of like be a spectator from here to here and see lines and stuff. Um, you know, again, it's like just finding. Um, I it, it's hard. It's it's I just get into this mode where I just move pieces around and I I. In some of those other ones that I did, especially downstairs, like these, I had to like, um, so basically there's three images, right, in this one, but then I, I added these other sort of very graphic um, sort of collages, and these could be like residuals that I did a few years ago. So I ended up like bringing out old prints and cutting those up. So that's kind of those. And I was thinking of this idea about static as well during this time. Um, and so, like, I just went for the pieces. I, I, I don't know. But I just feel like it needed something a little bit more. Like, I needed to break up that landscape a little bit more. Um, Well, I mean, okay, this is a quick story. I probably told a lot of you this, but um, I ended up doing the residency, and my family still lives in Ireland, and I went to visit my cousin, and another cousin was there that, like, I never met, even though I'd been there a number of times, and he's like, where were you? And I was like, oh, I was down in Rathnor. He's like, well, that's where our family's down at Martin's. So I was there for two weeks and had no idea that, like, my family, they were, like, it, they were um, for the train, that they were, like, right there in the next town. I had no idea, unfortunately. Um, and we've done like a lot of research around family backgrounds, etc. It's so fun. But um, that, I mean, that, um, I didn't do a lot. I mean, I did small little paintings of the landscape, but I didn't, um, I didn't, I, I, I kind of was working on some drawings with some it, like uh, figures in, in the room. So. It was really rainy. It wasn't a lot of <laughs> it, was, it wasn't a lot of exploring the land. Like I, the farmer would come, you know, he was on a farm, and so the dad they he lived on the property, and then the residency was it was like a dorm and like a, a really big barn that they converted. And so he would come over and he'd be like, "You got about two hours to go out, and then it's gonna piss rain. So <laughs> if you need to do something, you you do it now." And we didn't have a car or anything, so. Um, there were a lot of sheep and cows and stuff. <laughs> you know, it's a farm. <laughs> but not as lonely as this. <laughs> this, like, the Black Desert, um, I mean, the people that live out there are wild. I don't know. Eileen was saying the other day, I can't, I can't imagine growing up in that town. Like, it's just, but the desert's awesome. <laughs> and massive, and it only, you know, you only, see so much of it, you know, it's so, such a small little area that we actually get to experience. I can only imagine, like, really getting deep into it, like, where you're really out. I, 
you know, it's uh, like a lot of these images were just things that I would see over and over again. Like this, I had to like go into town. I mean, this car was, wasn't even in Gerlach. It was in between, like, I don't even know, <laughs> those towns, right? And I kept, I kept passing it by. And you know how you like, I'm, I'm really going to go, like, I'm going to go to that place. Like when you drive to a place constantly, you're like, oh, I want to check out Smartville. I've never been up there. And you've done it a hundred times, and then finally you do it. And so I allowed myself to like pull over and, you know, walk into a field and take a picture rather than just wander. Um, so, yeah, allowing yourself to kind of do those things that, together in a sleeve in a box for like six years 
right? Um, and I even pulled some out, and they were kind of falling apart. I had to like re reclip them. So you can take this one from. And uh, I'm trying to um, I'm, I'm trying to think of them sort of like kissing each other in in those spaces. And I mean, I guess that's almost like kind of like a time machine, a portfolio, mm -hmm. you know. Um, and that's what was so nice about it, like having that ability to look through that work that I have, you know, you, you forget some of the work that you do. You forget a lot of the work that you do. <laughs> um, and then you just keep making work. <laughs> and you're like, I'm doing this. <laughs> um, but I think that's it. You just, that's something you have to do as an artist. It's something that, like, I, you can't explain it. It's just there. Did I need to make six more pieces and add another, like, Stuff to my portfolio, probably not. <laughs> but I am making smaller work. <laughs> I have decided, I like it was fun to make like larger work in that residency, but it's so overwhelming. And I really in that in those pieces in particular, I really tried to um, address the negative space. So I put more stuff in it, right? I put like too much information in it. So when I look at those, I'm like. Like, it's just, I can't, you know. And you just know that as an artist. You know, you know, like, oh, okay, those are not successful. Those will be cut up. At least I work on paper, and I can cut things up. <laughs> it's not like a canvas, you know, where I'd have to paint over it or something. And some people don't even paint over canvases. Like, I'm not sentimental about my work at all. Um, I get rid of it. I let it go. I paint over stuff. It's like once it's out. Well, Holly and I were walking around this picture today of, of going through the grid. Right. And it's a nice to spend time with the work. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like that, you know, and the negative space is so bad. Mm -hmm. I don't have to try to figure out the way to it. It's one that Victoria commented about when she saw the finished fabric. Negative space has this has this stuff in the fabric that is almost like uncultivated. Like, so I started interpreting the negative space as the unknown, the thing that you can't see now because you don't have to touch your right. hands or something. Right. <laughs> Ask my family. <laughs> What's my 
my studio like at home? <laughs> it comes, it, it comes, in, it's like, it is seven foot. It's like clean, and then it's like, I've, I've got something that I have to do, and it's all coming out. Um, but it goes back into very small space. <laughs> We can all relate to that. <laughs> a lot of us do. Well, if you don't have any more questions, and you have a desk. Oh, 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 Well, no, it's a good thing you 